Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to my guide on auto hotkeys. This is a program for those of you who don't really want to um, delve into the mouse keys program that's already built into your computer or are confused about it, just want something simple, straightforward, or something that you've seen on stream. This is what a lot of people have as an alternative to all of these things and it's going to allow you to uh, maximize um, your experience per hour and all sorts of other goodies. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into how to get the program, how to set it up, how to make your own scripts, and do all of that other stuff. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. All right, everybody. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to Google and type in AHK and hit enter. Now, the first thing that pops up is auto hotkey macro and automation window scripting. Go ahead and click that first link and you're going to come to the autohotkey.com website. Now, um, as you can see, is a giant download auto hotkey 1.1 download button. You're going to want to go ahead and click this. You can go ahead and read all of this other stuff if you want to, but it's not necessary. So we're going to go ahead and click download. And it's going to go ahead and start downloading right down here. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Click yes if you have anything with the admin pop up. Go ahead and give it permission. We're going to go ahead and do the express installation. So go ahead and click this. It does not take long at all. As you can see, it's already completed. And what we're going to do is go ahead and click Run Auto Hotkey. OK, so um, what just opened up is the Auto Hotkey Help panel. Now, you do not need to worry about this at all. Um, I just go ahead and exit this out. You can go ahead and do the tutorial if you really need to. But um, I'm going to teach you everything that you need. So we can go ahead and exit out of this. And um, all right, here on the setup, go ahead and click exit. And that's it, it's downloaded. So now we're going to delve on into it. All right, everybody, so I'm going to throw you back to high school. You guys, remember this plane, the Cartesian plane, or whatever the heck it's called? Um, this was used to plot things on a graph, right? Well, it's a little bit different when you go into programming. Um, here we have our X and our Y axis. This is a normal Cartesian plane, but it's a little bit different when you're programming on the X axis and the Y axis. Uh, as you can see right here on screen when it comes to scripting. Um, as you see, uh, the y-axis actually increases as you go down, and the x-axis stays the same, so as it normally would. So you have to keep this in mind when you're making your scripts. You never really have to worry about the x-axis whatsoever. You're only going to be worrying about the y-axis. How far down do you want the mouse to drop right here? So it's like, okay, I want it to drop five, you know, five units. So it's going to go boom, five pixels or whatever it is, down to five. And every single time you press whatever button you've assigned it to and you know 10 units and so on and so forth so this is just to kind of give you guys a reference point of how this is going to be working and if you were to do a negative number it would go in the opposite direction so if we go uh, let's say I go down I set five I set it to 10 so we go it drops down 10 and I do a negative 5 for my next button jumps up to the 5 because it go five units in the opposite direction so it's actually different what you would think it'd be positive going down, negative going up. So just keep that in mind as we move forward. So I've gone ahead and put together a document like I normally do on Google Documents. And just to give you guys some quick little step-by-step -step things to get you going, like some little sample scripts that I personally do use. Uh, we have a quick drop script, a fast banking drop down script, ultimate skilling script, which is pretty good for fletching and such, superheating, and I have others that I'll include in the official release of this, but this will be down below in the download, like down below in the description if you want to go ahead and jump right into this. Um, and it's just to make your life a little bit easier. As you can see, it'll be just like being the king, sitting on your throne, your mighty throne of RuneScape, just sitting there pressing little buttons and rather than, you know, maxim you know, just maximizing everything is going to be fantastic. So, um, yeah, so this will be down below in the description, but I'm going to show you guys a real quick way to do the uh, quick drop script. So we're going to go ahead and copy this, shrink this down, and here we are at the desktop. What I'm going to do is go down to the start button and open up notepad. Now in notepad, um, what you're going to want to do is copy and paste that. Well, you're going to paste it really. And here we have our script. So um, this doesn't do us any good if you save it as a .txt file. So go to file, save as, and here is the uh, .txt file that I was talking about. So you don't want to worry about this at all. So go ahead and click this because we don't want that and go ahead and click all files. Now um, I'm going to be saving this to my desktop real quick and you can name this whatever you want. So for example, this was our drops little you know script that I had made. And so we're going to type drop version 1.0 and we're going to do dot 
AHK. So no matter what you name it, you have to have .ahk at the end. And this is going to save it as a, um, a file that will be accessible for the auto hotkeys program. Pretty easy to remember with AHK at the end of it. So go ahead and save that. Okay, so before you exit out, I just forgot to mention something. See this number one right here? Now this is the key or the button that you're going to be assigning the um, little program to. So since it has a number one, the number one across the top of your keyboard is what's going to allow this to function. Um, so every time you hit one, it's going to drop your mouse down 37 pixels. So that's just for, you know, for this example. Um, this R simply means return, which means the end of the script. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, some of my scripts will have return typed out, but that's basically it. But uh, so if you wanted to do uh, number two, you pretty much like if you want number two on your keyboard to do it, then you have two, three, four, what have you. Um, if you want the number pad, you're going to have to hit numpad and then numpad one, I believe. Uh, if not, it'll be on screen correcting me. And um, but yeah, so we're going to use the number one here. And then, yeah, just go ahead. And if you altered that, go ahead and resave. Um, we did not. So we're going to go ahead and exit. So uh, do we want to save? Yes, sir. Sure, we'll save it. So now that we're on desktop, go ahead and locate your file. Since I saved it to the desktop, it's really easy to find. So I'm going to drag it over here to the captain shield and go ahead and double click it. Um, now, uh, since I already had an instance running, I went ahead and clicked yes. You won't have that pop up, so just double click it, and now the script is running. Now, um, it doesn't seem like the script is running because you don't see anything, but um, if you hit the number one, I'm not doing anything, and it's just dropping it down 37 pixels each time, as you can see. But um, to see where the program is actually running, you're going to go right on down here, and you see where the date and time is, and you see this little arrow. Go ahead and click this. And here it is, this little green and white H. And if you hover over it, it tells you exactly which um, AHK program you're running. And you can right click, you can exit it, you can suspend it, you can pause it, or what have you. Um, but this is just an example of what a script would be if you have it running. This is just a sample script, of course. You're going to uh, make your own, do all sorts of different things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and test out another one. Um, so let's go ahead and see it in action. Let's use the we're going to go ahead and use the skilling script so I'm going to go ahead and copy this copy and open up notepad paste it in file save as and we're going to do skilling.ahk make sure you change the document type to all files and click save oh man brain brain fire brain fire okay so you're going to go on down you're going to run skilling as you can see, it is running right here. We're going to go right on into RuneScape. Let me log in real quick. Okay, now that we are logged in, let's run on over to the bank. We're just on one of my accounts here. Go to the bank. And let's find something that we can use this skilling script for. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is I had to buy some oak logs here for this example. But uh, you want to locate your item in the bank. And um, since I am using the skilling script, if I right click and I hit 1, it's going to drop it down you know X amount but if I right click and hit 2 it's gonna automatically drop it down to the custom amount that I want so if I want exactly 27 and um, I drop it down it'll withdraw exactly 27 every single time um, so let's go ahead and craft some real quick so if I click my knife hit 1 click it again I can craft it'll bring me you know to my crafting screen can right click hit 2 make a custom X I make 27 and immediately start fletching. So um, now if I want to bank, I can right click the banker, hit one, it drops it down just that one little option tick, click bank, and if I want to bank really quick, right click, hit two, and it'll bank you know, a custom amount again, and that'll be whatever's in your inventory, and it'll bank really fast, and once you get the hang of it, it's pretty quick. Um, I mean, it's just one of those things that you, know, you just get used to, and um, you can use it with so many different things. I use all sorts of different things, um, programs. I have them for blackjacking, I have them for rune crafting, I have them for just dropping iron ores or granite or whatever, what have you. It doesn't matter. Um, but as long as you can figure out um, how you want to drop it, how far you want it to drop down, it just becomes so much easier. So I'm going to run through some examples now. Um, this isn't anything that you have to do, this is just extra stuff to show you these scripts in action. Okay, you guys, so the next script I'm going to show you that I have an example for is the blackjacking script. So I'm going to go ahead and run that real quick. I have all these files, as you can see, elite level rune crafting, which I need to add to the document, and all these other little things. Um, these are primarily the ones that I will use. 
So we're going to go ahead and we are making our way to Poly Nipples, Polinovich, or whatever the heck you want to call it. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can lure somebody in here and show how amazing this script truly is. Yeah, it's going to be good. So we're going to walk in here, close this. Okay, so here we have our bandit. We're going to right click, knock out with one. Oh, we need level 55 thieving. My freaking bad. All right, so let's find, let's find somebody. All right, we're going to knock out this guy. We're going to knock him out. We're going to knock him out. Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, and then that was it. That's it. Okay, see? Okay, that was terrible, terrible showcase. All right, so right click, hit one to knock out, to drop it down. Right click two to pickpocket. And there you go. And you just keep repeating this process over and over again. Obviously, my thieving level on this particular account isn't too great. But um, yeah, so you get the idea. Pretty cool with uh, blackjacking one and two is what I use. Uh, you can set it up to go, you know, with number three, you can have it go back up. Number four, go down again or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All right, guys, so the next script we're going to use is my dropping script. I'm going to go ahead and open that up, close it, and let's go. We're going to make our way to fly fishing. Now, this is the same script that I use for uh, power fishing and power mining. Pretty much anything where you need to drop whatever you're holding or, you know, all that junk. You just don't want to hold on to it, can't be bothered to bank or what have you. So uh, let's go ahead and fish, and I'll show you real quick. Now, um, once we catch a fish, it should be any second now. Come on now, come on. Okay, so we finally caught some fish, so let's go ahead and uh, right-click our salmon, and we go ahead and click one, and it drops it down to drop. Now, if we have things in a row, let's go ahead and rearrange our fish. Right-click, one, drop. Right-click, one, drop. Right-click, one, and drop. So you'll be able to run down the rows really freakishly quick once you get the hang of it. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful process. And it really just allows you to maximize your um, you know, experience per hour, whether you're fishing, whether you're mining, or whatever you're doing. It just truly, truly helps. And once you get the hang of it, it's just it's so quick. All right, you guys, well, I hope this helped out a little bit. Make sure that if you have any questions to leave them down below and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you need any help whatsoever, make sure that you message me whether in game or, you know, of course, the comment is the best way to get a hold of me if I'm not logged in because I get the notifications on my phone. So it's pretty good. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this guide and it helps you with your RuneScape experience. I truly, truly do. And, um... If you have, again, any questions, make sure to let me know. And um, all of the scripts that were in this video and the examples and such will be down below in the description. So have a great day, guys. Catch you later.